So I got a text the other morning from my friend Sam asking me if I would look into the death of the Husker Du guitarist Grant Hart. And he died on September 13th. And I think it's one of his favorite bands or whatever. And he thinks that, you know, he said this guy probably died by the numbers, even though he doesn't want him to. And he thinks it's also connected to the Minnesota Twins. And they're a band from St. Paul, Minnesota, you know, one of the twin cities and whatnot. So I thought I'd take a look into it with as much stuff that I've been documenting about twins. I figured, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at it. And before I go any farther, if you don't know what I'm talking about in these videos, please go to the description, the link. I'll leave a link in the description called How to Gematria. It explains a lot more of what I'm talking about, but it's the practice of coding numbers into words. And people die by this system all of the time. The mainstream media, the headlines, the stories, they're all coded this way. Our sports leagues are coded this way. Our history is coded this way. And things in our everyday lives are coded this way. And what I truly think is going on is we all live in this you know, some type of universal code, and there are people in the world, such as Freemasons, who understand this knowledge, and they use it to their advantage, and they use it to rule over us. And, you know, think about stuff in regards to music. We got the, the band The Police, they have a song called Murder by Numbers, and it one, two, three, it's as easy as your ABCs. Slipknot has a song called Gematria, the killing name is because these people get ritually sacrificed by the numbers, you know, all of the time. But other things are synced up as well. Anyway, first thing that I noticed in regards to Grant Hart here, his full name in Gematria, Grant Vernon Hart, equals 84, the reverse reduced, and also 195. Minnesota Twins equal 84, the reverse reduced, also 195. And 183 in reverse, and if you notice, his birthday, March 18th, which in most parts of the world, they read it as 18 slash 3, a lot like 183. 318 is also an important number, and he was born in the year 61. 318, if you've ever seen the TV show called Touch with Kiefer Sutherland, that's the God number. The, the sequence begins with 318 and ends with 318. and you know, they show you a little bit of what's going on. The In the New Testament, supposedly Jesus, the second coming of Jesus is mentioned 318 times. And the 77th day is March 18th. Christ equals 77. It's an important number. So just interesting in, in both ways that this date can be written. It's interesting how it's synced up. The word God equals 61. Jesus equals 61. Holy Holy Spirit equals 61, sins equal 51, church, Christian, they all equal, I think I said 51, they all equal 61. Also, you know, time equals 61, Saturn is the keeper of time, most likely the God of the Old Testament, keeper of time equals 61, and this guy dies in Minneapolis, that equals 93, just like Saturn, Minneapolis, Minnesota equals 93. Just like Saturn, Minneapolis also located on 93 degrees west. You know, that's how a lot of the stuff works too. It's synced up to the locations. Anyway, I also pointed out not his full name, what most people call him, I guess, Grant Hart. Grant Hart equals 44, 107, and also 55 in reverse reduced. And he's famous for this band Husker Do that equals. 35, 44, and 107. So Grant Hart equals 44, 107. Husker Du equals 44, 107. There's another band that he's started after Husker Du called Nova Mob that equals 35 and 107, just like his name. It's also interesting. I just documented a bunch of stuff about earthquakes in regards to Aaron Carter's last album being another earthquake. And it was synced up to the twin stuff and, you know, a possible earthquake that's going to happen during the time of the World Series, whether it happens at the World Series or somewhere else in the world. But 
Earthquake equals 44 and 107, just like Grant Hart, just like Husker do. Grant Hart equal 50, equals 55 in reverse reduce. Minneapolis equals 55. That's the area that it's banned from. That's where he died. So a lot of times, people's names equal the same as how many days away they died from their birthday. But his doesn't. And the reason is, I'm pretty sure, because it is synced up to the World Series this year. And he died 179 days after his 56th birthday. And he died 41 days before the World Series. And the reason that's so significant is because the 41st prime number is 179. So 41 days before the World Series, 179 days after his birthday, both synced up to the number 41, which I also mentioned in the previous video in regards to 9-11 with the Twin Towers. 9-11 super significant to the number 41. It happened on a date numerology of 41. Al-Qaeda equals 41. Muslims, airplanes, Zionists, skull and bones. Even just after 9-11, the 41 days later, the Yankees upset the 116-win Seattle Mariners 41 days after 9-11, right? And Seattle Mariners equal 179, like the 41st prime number. And also, it's interesting that the Seattle Mariners are my friend Sam's favorite Major League Baseball team. And his name equals 226. Seattle Mariners in reverse equals 226. 226 is a date, also the 57th day of the year, World Series equals 57, and it also reminds me of the 93 World Trade Center bombing. I'll try and find the link to my video in regards to the Cranberries as well, their song Zombie that's about the Warrington bomb attacks that happened on 226 of 1993 as well. Both of them events synced up to the Jesuits. The Jesuits of what I've been talking about a whole lot have, are synced up to the World Series this year. Pope Francis, the first Jesuit Pope. Donald Trump went to Fordham University, a Jesuit university. They're born a hundred and their birthdays 187 days apart. Society of Jesus equals 187. Anyway, so I got this text on my way to Omaha. I had band practice yesterday and I was on my way to Omaha and I was kind of just thinking of some of the stuff in my head because whatever, my fingers are too big for the, to do the Gematronator, which I'll leave a link to in the description as well. I don't know why I just can't, I can't do it on my phone very well, but I was just kind of trying to send myself a text message and with some information that I was thinking in my head about it. And right as I was typing about 179 being the 41st prime number, up in the distance, I looked up and I saw a semi that was turning into the McDonald's and the semi said Prime Inc. on the side. Like that was the company name, Prime Inc. Right as I was typing the word Prime number. Just some weird stuff. Anyway, in regards to that text I sent to myself, I also noted that Super Bowl equals 41 in Gematria and Super Bowl 52 will be played in Minnesota where the Minnesota Twins play. And this guy also died on the 256th day of the year. Curse of Rocky Colavito equals 256. I, I'm just lost in, in regards to who it, what the twin stuff is actually for. Possibly it is for the Yankees or the Indians. But I, in my head, I still think it really is truly for the twins. But I also pointed out that if the Yankees do make the World Series this year, it will be the 41st. American League pennant that they've won. I also pointed out that Husker Du's final studio album, it came out in 1987, which was the year when the Minnesota Twins first won the World Series. Or they first won it as the Twins, at least. They won it once, one other time as the Senators. Also, this Grant Hart, he died 187 days before his birthday. Remember, I just said Society of Jesus equals 187. He also died age 56 of liver cancer. Liver cancer equals 187. So what he died from, he died of it 187 days before his birthday at the age of 56. Liver cancer equals 56, also 187. It also equals 110. Minnesota equals 110. 
Think about that in regards to the World Trade Centers as well. The Twin Towers, 110 stories tall. Osama bin Laden equals 110. I believe if you write out September 11th, it equals 110. The Pentagon has Highway 110 that goes next to it. Or actually thinking about it, it's it's not September 11th, it's 911 that equals 110. I also pointed out just in general, he died of cancer. And Grant Hart equals 44, cancer equals 44, chemo equals 44, cigarettes equal 44, gas station even equals 44. And think about, you know, lots of people buy cigarettes at the gas station. The word kill equals 44. The word kill also equals 59, like tobacco. But once again, this Society of Jesus stuff, or 187 days before his birthday of liver cancer that equals 187. In regards to all of the connections to 9-11, the Seattle Mariners, New York Yankees equal 187 in reverse. So, I don't know. There's something super connected to the Twin Towers to this year's World Series. I'm starting to think, honestly, regardless of who's in the World Series, we're going to get a 9-11 type event either just before or after the World Series this year. It just seems like there's a lot of stuff building up to a 9-11 type event. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. The World Series, you know, it also begins on the, the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash. Trump equals 88. Herbert Hoover was the president when the stock market crash happened. HH, 88. But moving on, so I also noticed that this guy just got married, Grant Hart, just got married to Bridget McGill Hart on July 5th of this year, July 5th, which can be written 5 slash 7 or 7 slash 5. World Series equals 57, it also equals 75. And if you go from that day to the beginning of the World Series, a span of 111 days, remember in 2000 what? 9-11 happened on the date that leaves, 111 days in the year. The Yankees all of a sudden upset the Mariners one month, 11 days after 9-11. New York equals 111 in Gematria. And Grant Hart just so happened to die on September 13th this year, which is one month, 11 days before the World Series begins this year. His wife's name, Bridget Hart equals 60, just like Minnesota Twins as well. He also died 70 days after getting married then. And New York Yankees in the reverse reduced equals 70. But also I pointed out St. Paul, Minnesota equals 70. And that's where they're from or whatever. And it also equals 263 in reverse, which is interesting because this number that I've been trying to figure out what it means, the, the Super Bowl was 261 days before the World Series begins this year. 261, if you write it out, it equals the same as St. Paul, Minnesota. It equals 263. But if you come to my blog, you'll notice that I've been trying to figure out what 261 means. I keep getting shown this 261 by these weird occurrences that are happening, and I haven't been able to figure out what the exact point of it is. But I just figured out that if you write out 111 in Gematria, it equals 261. So, you know, interesting in regards to all these 111s, how it's connected to 911. My my first thought of the World Series this year was the Yankees too. Like it because of the Jesuits, the movie Oblivion where Tom Cruise is wearing the Yankees hat and it came out on the March 26th, which is the synaxis of Gabriel and Gabriel was the one who it was Seemingly showing me a bunch of the Jesuit stuff and how it's connected to the World Series and connected to this year. We even had the story of the guy wearing the Yankees hat and he was praying with all the Muslims. But then I had started thinking about all, I went through all the teams to find if any of the teams had Jesuit connections other than the Yankees. And I found that I think it was the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins. And then I remembered all of this twin symbolism that was going on, such as Jay-Z and Beyonce having twins during the sign of Gemini. 
And in my own life, my girlfriend was pregnant with twins and had a miscarriage and cracked open an egg that had two yolks. That means you're supposedly pregnant with twins. All of this weird twin symbolism. And it was in the media as well. Conjoined twin stories. So it's just funny how it's all interrelated and connected back to the same thing. Connected to the Jesuits. Synced up to 9-11. I also pointed out the weird connection between the Yankees and their the years they won the wild card. They all end in like multiples of five, 95, 2010, 2015, or they end in a, a seven year, 97, 2007. This year will be 2017, and most likely they're going to, you know, be in the wild card game. I guess I said win, but be in the wild card game. And think about that, five and seven, World Series equals 57. Just something to think about. I need to look more into the wild card games and see if what teams have went on to win the World Series and win and everything else. But I just haven't had the time to do that. I also pointed out in regards to Husker Du, they put these metal dots on top of their the U's, right? And U is the third U breaks down to three. So it's like a 33, which is the important number in regards to Freemasonry, the highest. Known degree, it's the, the day that, you know, Jesus supposedly died on the cross at the age of 33. There's 33 vertebrae in our backs. And think about that, you know, your, your back is foundation and whatever else. And, you know, the Freemasons are builders. Also, U is the 21st letter then. 21 and 21 is 42, which is also important to the Freemasons. The big G on top of their compass and square represents 33 and also 42. In Francis Bacon Gematria, big G is 33. And in Sumerian Gematria, G is also 42. Think about the New Testament that equals 42. And it begins with the 42 generations leading up to Jesus. The Gutenberg Bibles were the first Bibles. There were 42 lines. Think about the movie... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Secret to the Universe 42. So, interesting, I guess, in regards to the way they write their name. And the, the metal dots above the U. The metal dots are actually called metal umlauts, I believe is how you pronounce it. It equals 139. Freemasonry equals 139. He died on 13 slash 9. So, once again, you know, another death. Another death from a famous person by the numbers. Pretty sure it's synced up to the Minnesota Twins, or at least the Minnesota Twins symbolism that I've been following. And, you know, you just can't deny stuff like that. Like, his name equals the same as the two bands that he was in. It happens all of the time. So, leaving it at that, peace out. Have a good one.